I honestly was thinking about calling this video something like, you know, I lost my electric cycle and the mountain claimed it. Something like that, or I lost it and I didn't find it. Uh, but I think we found it. Hey everyone, if you think that uh, the name of this video is a clickbait, no, it's not. So I dropped my wheel from here where I'm standing right now, down there. And I'm not quite sure that you can see it from here, from the camera, from this angle. But it is incredibly bad. At this point I'm sitting at home and everything, well, more or less fine. So nobody got killed or injured during that. There is no wildfire or anything like that. Which I would consider as a big, big success. Well, we found the wheel. The wheel is damaged, but we will talk about it a little bit later. Let me first show you how the trail looks like and then I will explain what happened there. And here is the trail. And here is the cliff. And it literally like this. I'm not quite sure that the camera is delivering the depth of this thing. It's pretty, pretty tall. Um, anyway, okay. So this trail is uh, is a regular hiking trail. Although people ride there with no any issues. So it looks sketchy from the camera, maybe. But it's literally like three people can stay uh, shoulder to shoulder to shoulder, and it will be fine. So it is. Not too bad. You see that red strip over there? So it's marked the spot of the accident. Uh, the terrain the terrain looks like this and it's rideable for sure, but you either can ride here or you can ride here. You cannot ride in the middle because this way your wheel will go sideways. My wheel got that rock on the left and went sideways. I stepped off the wheel this way and the wheel went down there. It's literally the worst place to to have such an accident, if you can take a look behind my back, I'm not quite sure that the camera is focusing, I'll try to position it right. So it is going down a lot. It's it's literally, I don't know, like uh, 300 meters down to that uh, tree over there and there is a cliff, so we jumped from that cliff and went somewhere down into those trees below. At this point of time, my first thoughts were, God, don't let anybody die down there because seeing that 88 pound machine going down like this way downhill and then jumping off the cliff, knowing that there is a huge downhill after that as well, is, is really, really stressful. I literally almost got a stroke on that freaking mountain. It was crazy. The second thought was like, okay, even if it doesn't reach to the end, to the bottom of the mountain, I hope it won't shatter because if it shatters, the batteries can ignite and cause some fire on the mountain, which is really, really bad because everything is so dry right now. So the first thing I went down to the bottom of the mountain took me 20 minutes literally running on the trail. I've never ever ever gotten down so quickly uh, from the top to the uh, to the bottom of the mountain. It is crazy. I almost died there. No water, no nothing. It's very hot. It was really bad because I wasn't sure about did it hit somebody or not and are people safe down there or not and when i came to the bottom of the mountain i figured out that nobody saw the wheel and i figured that it got stuck somewhere on the halfway down so my wheel flew from there down here and it's very high up uh i'm not quite sure where the wheel right now i checked i was afraid that i hit somebody because it's very high and it continues rolling it potentially can hit and it's 50 kilogram of weight uh almost but it seems that it didn't end here on this trail so it didn't end there i checked almost everything so uh I called Don. Don is coming, and uh, my wife is coming as well. Uh, she will bring a drone, and Don will uh, will be here to help me out. I think. Uh, crazy stuff. So I called Don. I called my wife. Don is my friend, and he came as quickly as he could. My wife brought some water and a drone, and we started looking. 
I don't have any footage from the first day because it was so ridiculously stressful and as the last thing I was thinking about is to film something. So we started looking, didn't find anything and at the end of the day Don needed to leave because of his personal circumstances and I needed to warn Mark. And Mark is a mountain keeper, he's responsible for everything around the mountain so he he is keeping an eye and I needed to notify him because, well, this is an accident that happened there and this could be bad. So we started looking with him. We spent about an hour climbing up and down that 45 degree slope, but didn't find anything. It's really almost impossible to see anything from there. Then we gave up because it didn't make any sense at the time and we decided to continue on the next day. And then I decided that on the next day, because everything looks well, more or less calm, I need to document it. And from there, I started filming. Okay, this is the next morning. Uh, I'm preparing a backpack, uh, putting there water, um, a drone to uh, continue my search. Yes, that was really exhausting. I ran down the mountain in 20 minutes, maybe. I've never done it. I was so scared that I hurt somebody, so um today i'm getting a lot of stuff with me uh, in my backpack i'll be uh, flying my drone i will be walking around and trying to find it yeah it is what it is uh i'm going to the mountain right now <sighs> it's even hotter today um I'm going right now to the Mark's place. He's a mountain keeper. He's keeping an eye on the mountain. So I'm going to his place and then we will proceed from there because I needed to report about the accident immediately. I just got this. This is a tape that supposedly will be very visible from above and from below too. So I'll try to set it somewhere around and install this cone. So we will see it as well. Okay, it looks like so. I put the cone here. I put the strip here. Should be visible from above. Coming back. I don't have air conditioning, unfortunately. No, it's fine. I like the wind. Kind of from the window. I can take so these roofs off, but I never do. Oh, I would say it's enough. Yeah. Okay. Is it bearable in the winter? Oh yeah. Well, this is my own vehicle. Oh, okay. I'm just a but contractor he... here. Yeah. I don't get uh, any benefits or anything. It's kind of a drag, but oh well. I got a nice place to live. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The mountain's beautiful. Do you need help with anything? Or? No, no, it's okay. All right. So this is the midsection of the trail. We are going down there. That trail over there leads to Paul's tomb. And I believe that um, the wheel is somewhere in that direction, behind that hill over there. Mark will open this gate for us and we will drive down the trail, which I've never experienced before, but yeah, well, new experience. So the plan is to, uh, to find the spot uh, yeah, at, at the bottom. and then we'll uh, see what we can see. That's quite the day out today. Wow. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's... Uh, Everything's so clear, really. Yeah, look at the lake, how blue it is. And yeah. I look through these glasses, it's really dark. <laughs> the mountains are blue as well, usually they're a little bit yeah. in that haze, you know. Yeah, uh, look at that, eh? Yeah, beautiful, wow. I love it. That's quite like, the scene. Like, like tourist spring, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like tourists, yeah. In our own place. Timer. Oh, sorry. How long have you been here? In Kelowna? Uh, as a mountain keeper. Oh, 18 years. 18 years. Yeah. Are you still taking pictures? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I would launch the drone just to locate that spot, right? So, because just by the first. Can you see that orange at all? <sighs> no, it's too Maybe high. we should get out and walk. Too high up, I think. No. Yeah, up to the mountain. And this is about, I don't know, like, <coughs> at the bottom of the mountain. It would definitely get stuck here. <coughs> but the problem is that we have two cliffs like that 
on top of each other. <laughs> okay, I'll stop filming for now because it doesn't make any sense. And uh, I'll continue later when it does. It's really hot. There's Mark trying to locate the orange cone. And we are around here, somewhere on the mountains. Sloppy as hell. And we have three of these. So it's a, uh, I think it, it was some kind of rock slide or something. And there is a cliff and we have three of these going up. And it's really hard to figure out where we are at right now because we don't see the uh, the orange strip from here at all. You want us to continue going this way? I don't know, I don't know. I just try to see where that orange is. It's super slippery here. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. I'll probably publish the video, tell people the exact location of this yeah. accident and let them find it. If they find it, it's theirs. <laughs> I'm fine with it. Yeah. Just don't die. At least it looks like a trail. Yeah. Walkable. Somewhat. Careful. <sighs> It's not looking too bad here. No. In comparison, you know? Yeah. So, uh, you going down or are you going around? There's a way down here, I think. Okay, yeah. Like a bog I don't believe that it will be possible to <laughs> ever found. <sighs> I, don't know, I, don't know. I think it will be just a happy accident for somebody to find it and people yeah. probably will not even understand what they found <laughs> my god i'm hoping not to my like in childhood <laughs> and here it goes Whew. freaking hell i lost my stick though pretty high up here do they usually remove them as well no no they leave it like that because it's not enough people here. Yeah, there's not any people, and they turn into uh, wildlife trees where birds make nests and all that, you know? Yeah. Uh, there's two more dead ones there. Yeah, I see that. This is the uh, Douglas Hill beetle. It's so flat there. They burned, yeah. So, do you think three of them? Yeah, probably. So lightning. So the mountain, the mountain ate my will, I guess. Yeah, it sure did. <sighs> it is steep here, but not as steep as it was up there. It was literally crazy. Mark is going sideways to ease up the the path a little bit. I just went down as a freaking deer. Which I'm not proud of, but it's faster. Yeah, find a wallet. Okay. Find a wallet. It's a wallet? It's a wallet. It looks like a wallet. Careful. There you go. Uh, hopefully there's money in it. <laughs> well, it looks old, probably. Well, oh, there is. you got here 20 bucks, I, I guess. Be, oh, I better. There's a driver's license. I better return We need to return this. it, yeah. Right. I bet it was a long time ago. Yeah. Like 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> if it made it through there and came down here, it could go that way. What is the height of this cliff? Height of the tree? No, no, the height of this cliff over there. Oh, uh, I would say um, 100 feet maybe. 100 feet. Or maybe more, 125 feet. Yeah, so about 40 meters. Oh. 
if there is a chance, then there is a chance. I just don't see it here. And considering that there are some bushes on top over there, I would I would say that it probably got stuck either on this edge or on the second edge that we cannot even see from here. Ah, we finished for today. I think it's just impossible to find anything in the mountain. And this kind of condition, this kind of scale of the mountain, it's too big. Well, at least you didn't go down with it too. Well, at least, yeah. Did you ever have any bad accidents around here on the mountain? Uh, not really. No? A lady fell off the cliff at, uh, at the apex lookout. There's a bit of a bluff there. Mm -hmm. And she, she was really drunk. Okay. And she landed on her back. And so she was okay. So she survived and... Yeah. Yeah. Did she, did she get injured or...? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I didn't hear much about it after. I just heard she was okay. Oh, wow. What is that? Well, this weeds along here all died. Mm. I don't know if they sprayed them or if that's just the heat. I think it just hit. Everything yeah. is so yellow. You can, you can walk by. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Are you okay? <laughs> okay, so I'm leaving the Mark's place. We didn't find anything. We spent about three hours looking for the wheel. At the first cliff, I think it didn't, didn't make it to there. So there is no chance that it passed through the bush that we saw. <sighs> there on that uphill, I think it just got stuck somewhere. Okay, this is morning of the third day and I woke up uh, to a very good text message and then checked my voicemail and it was even better. Check this out. Give me a call, Leo. Guess what? We got your unicycle. <laughs> so now I'm going to the Mark's place and uh, I guess I'll pick it up, so... Okay, I'm at the place, just parked my car, uh, super excited to see Mark. Honestly, I don't, I can't even imagine how I would go on the mountain again. I think it's 11, yeah, it's 11 a.m. and it's already about 30 degrees Celsius outside, so it's pretty hot. And today we'll have 37, I think, so another heat wave. Okay, I, I think I see the wheel. It's over there on the trolley. Hey, <laughs> so tell me, how, how did they find it? How you found it? Well, I'll show you on my phone here. Oh my God, and there's a wheel and uh, the tire is definitely flat. I mean, oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, here's uh... So anyways, uh, last night I went on Google Earth. Yeah. And I found the spot where on the trail up above, I could kind of tell yeah. by the way it went up. And, uh, and then I, so I thought, well, I'll take some screenshots of that on Google Earth and of the cliff. And then I put, uh, then I emailed the city and I let them know. And there's one guy at the city from the Parks Department who's quite uh, good at this kind of stuff. And he, uh, he acted on it immediately and had the students. We have like four or five, six students here wow. that, that all summer. And he sent them down there and they found it. And they found it at the bottom. Yeah, right. About 30 feet or 30 meters, I'm not sure which, above the trail, the Paul's Tomb Trail. So it didn't cross the trail. Yeah. And it was just up. And they, I said, well, how did you find it? And they said, well, we just went on that photo you sent and just went straight down. And there it was. <laughs> and, they were girl, and they didn't think they were, they were so heavy. There was mostly girls, but there was one guy there. So they were able to... So they were looking at approximately the same place that we were looking at? Or? Yeah, well, I think so, yeah. I put launch site. Yeah. Because, uh, and then this is uh, where we are here. <laughs> and then that was where I kind of figured. So they said they went straight down and it was right at the bottom there. And... Uh, so yeah, I was uh, I was amazed. I got the call this morning. He says we found the unicycle. It's I crazy. 
I said, you're kidding. I said, impressive. Yeah. Wow. Because you know how we, I said, we, I, I explained how you and I searched. Yeah. All yesterday and how rugged the train was. It was crazy, yeah. And, uh, but it was actually closer down to the road. So. Wow. Um, isn't that amazing? Okay. Yeah, I couldn't wait to tell you. I was like, yes, I gotta tell him. Oh man, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so incredibly happy about it. Uh, okay, yeah, it's shattered, but not to pieces. And from what I see, it's fixable. The battery pack is not intact. The motor is done, and the motherboard and the top cover is done, so. All right. well, it ends well. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mark. Yeah, see you. See you. Okay, so we are at home, and here is the damage. The top cover is completely gone with the screen, and the motherboard is damaged, obviously. The candle bar is broken and gone as well. The second one is fine, though. The handlebar is broken and gone, um, and the rim is broken. Here, a huge chunk of the rim is just completely off the table, interestingly enough. The second part of the wheel is completely fine. I checked it all around, and it's fine. So I see some scratches around here, but no deformations whatsoever, and parts like that did the job. Everything is just as it should be. The pedals are a little bit stiff, obviously, but they are fine. I just need to clean them, and they'll be fine. Uh, yeah, no damage for the pedals. Uh, this is crazy, but... The power pads on a freaking Velcro didn't come off at all on both sides. I lost one of the uh, jump uh, pads over here, but well, I will print another one, I think, not a big deal. Besides that, I think it is good, so I need the top part, I need uh, handles, I need uh, to change the motor, unfortunately, and it's going to be the biggest expense uh but besides that ladies and gentlemen this is the links that fell from the mountain and a couple of cliffs on the way so yeah okay i'm really really tired right now i'll take my rest it was uh some crazy three days that i spent around the mountain with mark trying to locate the wheel uh first of all thank you mark for being such an amazing person and helping me to locate this wheel thank you don for coming just right away to help me with everything and to all of you guys from the EUC community on Facebook so yeah uh, fun stuff anyway I hope you enjoyed this video as I enjoyed it uh, and yeah uh, thank you for your time